Joe Rogan is the top podcaster in the world, and Spotify acquired his podcast an exclusive deal for over $100 million. And over the past about year and a half, Rogan has become one of the most prominent misinformers about the pandemic in the media landscape. He's repeatedly spread harmful rhetoric about vaccines, lying that they're gene therapy, and encouraged people not to get vaccinated. It's not really a vaccine in the traditional sense. This is really gene therapy. If you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. Rogan has over 11 million listeners per episode. That's four times as many listeners as cable TV news. The harmful content on Rogan's podcast isn't limited to the COVID-19 pandemic. His show is a cesspool of racism, bigotry, and anti-trans hate. So you think that a lot of what's going on with people that want to change their gender identity is creativity? No, I don't think so. So what do you, I know so. so. I am white. Actually, that's a lie, too. <laughs> I'm kind of tan. And he was actually not black. Tan, he was sort of brown. Am I? So this is a huge, huge problem. Um, and I think it's, it's far past time people are finally paying attention to it. The things Joe Rogan says undoubtedly hurt our nation's public health. And right now, Spotify is choosing to put profits over our public health. It's, it's simple as that. There's a difference between censorship and curation. On one hand, censorship is when you're not able to freely express your ideas or maybe thrown in jail by the government for expressing controversial views. That's not what we're calling for. We're calling for Spotify to curate the content on its platform. Spotify clearly has the resources to take on this task. Um, many other tech platforms have much more robust content rules that specifically detail what sort of lies about the COVID-19 pandemic you can't spread. And so far, CEO Spotify Daniel Ek has defended Rogan repeatedly and is showing that they don't seem to have any interest in helping our nation's response to COVID-19. Rogan has repeatedly bragged on air that Spotify hasn't taken any action against his podcast. Spotify has given me no pushback whatsoever. They've been amazing. Yeah. Rogan knows what's happening here. He has a keen understanding of how to avoid any accountability for his harmful lies and conspiracy theories. Rogan does have First Amendment rights. He has free speech. He can say whatever he wants about the COVID-19 pandemic. But the difference here is that we don't believe that Spotify should pay Rogan to spread that harmful rhetoric to millions of listeners across the globe. We're calling for Spotify to just curate and moderate the content on its platform because it's incredibly dangerous to the health of our nation.